Well, good afternoon and welcome back to another virtual tour by Goldacre Estates. Today, we're in the beautiful village of Villa Verde. We've got a phenomenal villa to show you right now. And yes, just behind me, that is a view of Mount Escanfraga, literally the village local restaurants, very, very well known here, and the supermarket. It's a two minute drive from this location. This is a very, very private and large villa. It's four bedrooms, over 300 square meters of construction on a plot of over 3,000 square meters and literally very, very open, open views. If I just pan around now, you start to get to see part of the garden, but also the villa itself. It does actually have a garage and a roof terrace and just phenomenal outdoor living spaces, which is exactly, of course, what you want when you're coming to Fuerteventura. Just before I show you around the villa, of course, all the details on this detached villa are on goldacreestates.com. So flick over there or scroll down this YouTube and find the description. Click the link, it'll take you directly to the listing. And if you don't already have our mobile property app from Goldacre Estates, then use the QR code I'm just about to pop up to download it on your mobile phone. And you can find all the details there when you search for the property in Villa Verde. So there you have Mount Escanfraga, literally a stroll away and beautifully mature gardens here you've got bourgainvillea growing you've got a fig tree on the left here you've also got a papaya tree a carob tree on the left you can see a double garage i'll show you that from the inside the property and as we just walk along this pathway that leads you to the front entrance you can see there's plenty of space for parking your car there is a separate pedestrian entrance there as well and then just on the right hand side here, beautiful gardens, a well for example, look, and this lovely cactus garden here as well. Coming inside then, just a little terrace area here and an entrance hallway that leads you through to this atrium courtyard if you like here, look. Again, it's been closed over. It adds a lot of natural light to this front entrance hallway. On the right hand side, you've got the main accommodations, which consist of a master bedroom, ensuite, and three guest bedrooms with a shared bathroom there. But firstly, on the left, and just walking in, quick glimpse to the left, you can see there some storage units that take you through to the kitchen. But here on the right, a really lovely family room, a very, very spacious, comfortable sofa, TV watching room and with its own stone clad fireplace on this side as you can see we've got the sofa there because we don't often use the fireplace but it is ready especially for christmas for example when it's a really lovely feature you can see that this lounge also have quick sneak pre preview if you like of outdoor covered terracing areas which i'll take you to in a moment this is a large villa as i said earlier on loads and loads of additional spaces outdoors and then a formalized dining room now this is perfectly placed because we're coming into the kitchen in a second but you can see it also separates the kitchen from the tv area and there are glass sliding doors that lead you out to your patio and then on this side here look you've got a little breakfast table Again, those patio doors just showing you what's to come along the outside. But again, that breakfast table is quite a family breakfast table, really. Very well placed next to the kitchen. Now, this kitchen, customised kitchen here, all granite work surface. You can see loads and loads of storage bins, dishwashing machine, of course. Really, the top shelves are left open. Lovely views, I've got to say, out to your front garden from this dual aspect window. And then on this side, you've got an industrial style of extractor here, look, and a very large electric Bosch work hob and oven. Just looking back then at the kind of spaces that you've got in this kitchen. Of course, you've got that double fridge freezer as well. Just off the side of the kitchen then is a utility room. Again, very, very handy here because you've actually got these built-in wardrobes, look, plus additional storage units here in solid wood. You can see the washing machine there as well. 
Again, well ventilated with that window. You've got the hot water boiler there as well. And then as you're coming through here on the right, again, another door that leads you outside. But before that, the all important garage. Now this is a huge space here, an electric up and over sliding door. This is a double space garage. You've got natural light, ventilation coming through these windows here. This is really a lovely space though, yes, for your car, but also as a hobby room. Just coming back through the kitchen now, I really want to get you outside before I show you the accommodation. You can see loads of terrace doors leading you now to this space here. Absolutely phenomenal space that you've got here. Look, cane, bamboo, comfortable, low slung sofa seating here. And look at this for a terrace. Really high pitch ceilings in solid wood. You've got loads of space. Look for your sun lounges, a city area, views out always to the garden. And again, look, another dining space. Why not? Why wouldn't you actually always sit out here, especially though for friends and family? Because of course you've got the barbecue, haven't you? Right here. The lifestyle that you've got in Fuerteventura, I think you probably use this space out here and the barbecue more than the kitchen. But it's a very modern style of villa. And then on the side here, look also, this glass wall, like a picture window, really looking out to your private plot. It's a huge plot, it's over 3,000 square meters, and you've got plenty of space then to have a really comfortable little cubby sofa like this, for example, looking out at your garden. And then of course this door on the left takes you back to main lounge. Coming outside then, just a quick walk through the garden. On the left by the garage are the car parking areas. You can see here then as we just walk around, loads of space outside, nice mature trees, pepper tree here, dragon palm there. You've got a couple more palms on the left hand side. But just looking back at the house then, you can see in terms of a using usable space. That outside terrace is really quite unique. And for the weather that we have here, you know, sitting out there, I think, is a great feature and quite a unique feature. Certainly on this side, prevailing winds, we've got those fixed glass windows. And then on this side, which is the west side as well, you've got two sets of pull-down awnings. Really up to you, depending on the time of year more terracing here as well. And if I just take you upstairs, since we're outside, why not, let's go up to the rooftop terrace. Really lovely stairs here, look. Quite fun to go up here. Now the rooftop is quite convenient because of course this is where you gotta probably put your washing out. In fact, there is a large area for the washing line here, but just coming up here then, quick elevated views. I can actually see off in the distance, Lanzarote, the mountains, by the side of La Harris. I can see the Atlantic Ocean there, El Cotillo. And of course, immediately behind us, La Oliva mountaintops and Mount Escanfraga. In fact, if we just walk through here, we do have, look, the washing area, so that's quite convenient. And on this side, you've got more elevated views over your own plot, garden, to the mountains in the distance and coming back and around in the distance there to Lanzarote. Well there you go that's the main lounge, kitchen, garage and outdoor terracing areas. Really now is to get you to the accommodation as I said there's four bedrooms here, two bathrooms, very much a large family home so let me show you that now. So just coming back through the house, past the dining room, living room, and back to the main entrance atrium here. First on the right hand side, on the southeast wing, is the master bedroom. It's a lovely bedroom, loads of wardrobe space. In fact, you've got a his and hers. Very, very comfortable double bedroom here. As you can see on the left end, that whole wall is wardrobe and the opposite wall as well. And then there's a double aspect window here looking out to your gardens. In fact, you might just be able to hear 
the birds chirping from there. Past the entrance then into your own ensuite. Now this is a beautiful ensuite I have to say, quite modern in style and still it's got some real charming features and natural wood surrounding the mirror for example and the doors there in the sink unit. This is a silicone work surface here, tile top to toe. You do have a bath and shower. The bath actually has a lovely aluminium sort of surround corner piece there. WC, windows out to the garden and just behind here separate shower. Again really beautifully tiled I have to say with this cascade rain effect shower. And then on the northeast side here we've got another wing of accommodation. Literally as you walk through this entrance here we've got three bedrooms and a shared bathroom. On the right hand side then very comfortable double. You see there's actual wardrobe spaces here on the right and again views out to those banana trees in your garden. Just on the side of this one is another double. This one is slightly longer. Again, a very comfortable bedroom and that has views out again to the palm trees of your own garden. And yes, there are built-in wardrobes. And then coming back through this connecting area here on the right hand side is the shared bathroom. You can see again here more silicone works top surfaces. Again, a lovely mirror that echoes out to the views of your garden, those palm trees. WC, and you also have this modern shower in here. Lovely tile work, and again that cascade shower. And then on this side, the third guest bedroom, again here, this one is another double. It does also have built-in wardrobes. And this one actually has, look, sliding glass doors that actually lead you out to the garden. Well, there you go. I hope that was a helpful virtual tour of this phenomenal villa here in Villa Verde. Again, four bedrooms, two bathrooms, huge family kitchen, very, very comfortable fireplace, lounge, TV room as well. And of course, this massive space outdoors here looking to your private gardens and land and loads and loads of outdoor seating area, especially when you're entertaining friends and family. If you are looking for a large villa, I have to say the price of this is phenomenal. The position is very, very unique because it's such a private area on a small country B road that nobody really comes down at all. It's quite flat in this area. You can actually see out to Lanzarote, to El Cotillo, to the sea. And if you like long walks with your dogs or you're going out on the bicycle, there's loads of spaces and tracks that you can do that from here. And more importantly, for me anyway, the local supermarket and those fabulous, fabulous restaurants of Villa Verde are a stroll away or a minute, two minute drive from this location. All the details, as always, on goldacreestates.com. Of course, using our app on your mobile phone, you can find all the details there. Sorry, this is a short video for such a large property, but all the photos and description are on the main web listing. So scroll down, find the description here on YouTube, click the link and it'll take you directly to the listing. I hope that's helpful and we look forward to seeing you soon.